The next parameter is EAN and UPC numbers. What's EAN and UPC? EAN stands for European Article Number. And UPC stands for Universal Product Code. What are these? Now, if you are in the retail industry, this is mostly used in retail. Think about shoes. Think about uh, clothing. Think about anything that's retail, typically, you know. These products have a barcode, right? And what does that barcode do? It represents that material in a unique way across any shelf, meaning if you take that shirt or shoe, let's say a Nike shoe, a particular model, a particular model will have a UPC code. Say, I think UPC is a 12-digit code and EAN is a 13-digit code. The UPC is given by a consortium. You, you know, there, there's an organization that assigns or allocates a unique code to your particular model of Nike. And that model of Nike, be it on the stores of Foot Locker, or be it on the stores of um, Payless Shoe Store, it still has the same product code. So it's a way to uniquely identify a material. Same thing with European article number. This is used in EU and Asia, and this is used mostly in North America, Australia, New Zealand. I got to know about this UPC and EAN codes when I was working in, with uh, an apparel company. They made shoes and apparel. And that was the first time as I was introduced to EANs and UPCs. It's very retail oriented. Right? They were they were using it for labeling and VAS, value added services. Not every company needs these. Typical B2B companies don't need them. You know, if you are in retail, you might need EA and UPC. If the customer end user is interacting with them a lot on the retail shelves, then you need EA and UPC. Right? These numbers will be allocated by a consortium and they'll just be assigned to the material master. So where do you do that? MM02. Again, it doesn't make sense for coffee beans or it, maybe it makes sense because you could package coffee beans and put them on the shelves of Safeway right? or Costco. In which case, it might have a unique product number. So EAN, UPC. This is where you put your EAN numbers or UPC numbers.